the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Mary Magdalene, friend of Jesus, brother of a sister to uh, Lazarus, and a sister to Martha. Let us, as we come to celebrate her, learn from her example of conversion and true faithfulness, and ask for God's mercy and pardon. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and you are Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and you are Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, and trusted Mary Madeleine before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection. Grant, we pray, that through her intercession and example, we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Song of Songs. The bride says, On my bed at night I sought him, whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. I will rise then and go about the city. In the streets and crossings, I will seek him whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. The watchmen came upon me as they made their rounds of the city. Have you seen him whom my heart loves? I had hardly left them when I found him whom my heart loves. The word of the Lord. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us once we have come to the conviction that one died for all. Therefore, all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh, even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh. Yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh pines, and my soul thirsts like the earth, parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My, my soul, soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied, and with exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. My, my soul, soul is thirsting, thirsting for you, O Lord, Lord, my God. God. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Tell us, Mary, what did you see on the way? I saw the glory of the risen Christ. I saw his empty tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord, Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary Madeleine came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord away from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb 
and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was a gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Mary Madeleine went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Beloved, Lord Jesus today we celebrate the feast of St. Mary Madeleine a friend of the Lord Jesus, sister to Lazarus and mother. It is true that the Lord did cast seven demons out of her, but once freed from the possession of the devil, she became one of the most passionate, most faithful and loyal to Christ and his ministry. This is the Mary who, when visited by the Lord, sat at his feet to listen attentively while his sister Martha got very busy with the matters of hospitality as pertaining to the kitchen and the dining table. Mary Madeleine is known to be one of the close helpers and the disciples of the Lord, traveling often with him and the other disciples and providing the necessary support, sometimes out of her own means. This faithful woman showed great courage and solidarity, even when almost all the apostles had fled. Judas having betrayed him, and Peter denying him three times. Mary Madeline was a woman left at the foot of the cross with Mary, the mother of the Lord, and John, the disciple whom Jesus loved. Tradition has it that Mary Madeline held to bury the Lord after his crucifixion and death. Having been so active in the ministry of Jesus, one might say that it is quite unfair that she has sometimes been referred to as the sinful woman. Indeed, in the Byzantine liturgy, Mary Madeleine has been rightly described as the apostle to the apostles. Because don't forget, she is the one who first saw that the tomb was empty and went and reported to the leaders. It is therefore not surprising in my view that she will be heard of in today's gospel reading as among the very first to witness the empty tomb. In fact, scripture tells us that she, it was, who ran swiftly to Peter and the others and reported the news of the resurrection. In my view, today's first reading expresses sentiments that could easily have come from Mary Madeline, and we all heard today's first reading. It sounds very much like Mary Madeline and her love for Jesus. On my bed at night, I sought him whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. I will rise then and go about the city. In the streets and crossings, I will seek him whom my heart loves. This must be Mary Madeline expressing a searching for the Lord after his resurrection. Beloved, what do we say to the role of Mary Madeline in the ministry of the Lord? And what is my role today in the ministry of the Lord? Am I that passionate Am I that faithful? Am I that loyal, that present when it comes to works required of us in the church? What is my relationship with the Lord? Is it such that like the psalmist, I too can confidently say daily, my soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. How much do we thirst for Jesus? Mary Madeline has without a doubt taken the lead giving us an example of how our relationship with Christ ought to be like. We must pray for the grace to come closer, become more loyal to him, 
and allow our souls to thirst for him. Perhaps we are thirsting for him. That's why we are here early this morning. Maybe we are not like the others who have not found time to be here at his feet. May he quench our thirst and may he satisfy our hunger for a deeper relationship, a more committed journey with him. And may we be seen as true disciples of the Lord, like Mary Magdalene. Let us pray. That the church may continue to be graced with shepherds after Christ's own heart, who lead his church with loving care, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That all people throughout the world may know the saving power of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the spirits of the lonely and discouraged may be uplifted by the assurance of God's love and compassion for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That Christ may have a place in our hearts and the hearts of the homes of those gathered here, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That all who have died may be brought to new life with Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the intentions for which we pray in this Mass, for our own special intentions, and for Filipinas' menaces, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Father, you make all things new. Look with favor upon the prayers we offer you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, God of Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed God of Pray, my friends, that our offering may be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord Jesus Christ, 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 who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Equally, therefore, this gift we pray by sending thy your spirit upon them that they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim Amen. your death, Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, Espouse, with the Blessed Mary, Madeleine, and Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us to say our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Do not look on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Beloved, the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share the peace with one another. I Behold Jesus, behold him, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we who have come to share at his holy supper. Lord, Lord I am worthy that you stand in front of my room, and only say the word, and my soul Our spiritual communion. 
My Jesus, Amen. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Amen. come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the holy reception of your mysteries, Lord, instill in us that persevering love with which St. Mary Madeline clung resolutely to Christ, her Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, may our protection against the wickedness of the devil. May God be with you, we humbly pray. And to thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, and the Sanctity of the State, and all the evil spirits of power and power of the world, speak in the room of the Lord. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left committed, inspired by this confidence, before I am to thee. O Virgin, O Virgin, to our Mother, to thee to be come before the Holy Spirit, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word of God, despite us now by the Jews, and in thy mercy to be our Lord. Our Lady of Lords, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May the Almighty God bless and keep you, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Have a pleasant weekend. You too,